First, cut some rectangles of paper. Then, fold over a strip at the bottom of each rectangle. Now, draw a picture of the target word in the larger section above. Better still, get the learner to draw it. Next, you need to think, how many individual sounds are in your target word? So, for whip, you will need to make sure you have three sections, three sound boxes at the bottom. Fold the sound boxes back up and you're ready to go. How many sounds can you hear in the word whip? It helps to use a counter to represent each sound. What's the sound we can hear right at the beginning of whip? Can you write the letters we need for that sound? What's the vowel sound in whip? And the sound at the end of the word need to write the letter P. Learners with dyslexia need lots of practice and overlearning. Keep all of your sound pictures and they can be revisited again and again.